Hey guys, so what we're doing today is a crankcase ventilation filter delete on my 6.7 Cummins. We have a kit off Amazon, and then I also bought a brand new filter. But I took apart the filter and removed all the filter material to prevent future issues, which I will explain later in the video. What I start off by doing is I have an 8mm socket and I used it to remove all the bolts, eight in total. I was able to use a shallow socket on seven of them, but the one on the passenger side that is closest to the fire wheel, fire wall, sorry. I ended up using a deep socket just because there was a stud there and due to the stud, huh, it just didn't fit with a short one. I'm using the air tools mostly except for this. That being said, you can use air tools, you can use electric tools, you can use hand tools. End of the day, same job, shouldn't be an issue. Next, I took off the oil cap. And once the oil cap was off, I was able to remove the cover. Right there, that black thing is the crankcase ventilation filter. Pop that out. As you can see, mine isn't too bad, but my truck's deleted so it doesn't give me the factory warning anymore that you get once the filter is plugged up. We'll delete it and it has a EFI Live tune on it, so. Just pop the new one on right like that. Gave her a little smack. Next up, I took this opportunity to remove that hose clamp as I am removing this section because it is replaced by the kit. This is just a basic kit, pretty much every single cheap one you find on Amazon. They're all very similar, if not identically the same. And here I am cutting this hose that comes out of my cold air intake. That is the hose where the oil breather shoots oily air back into the intake, which now won't be re-entering my engine because it's going to be venting to atmosphere. I just chucked that piece aside because I'll save it for later. And don't worry, the kit does take care of that half-open hose. I left room on it for a reason. Here I am just installing the 8 mils back together. And of course, I am torquing it to spec. <laughs> so yeah, having a deleted or tuned truck could cause it where your truck no longer gives you the warning when the filter is plugged. So this is just a good preventative step, especially if you do lots of towing or you're putting some power into your truck. But I had to climb up there. My truck's on 35s with a level kit. It's way too high to be honest, but it helps when we're going through farmer's fields and I uh, keep a lot of my stuff and a lot of my trailers out at my buddy's field in the back pasture. And when it gets muddy, it helps to have the diffs a little bit higher so we're not dragging them everywhere. As you can see, torquing to spec. <laughs> all in all, this took me about 30 minutes. I went kind of slow. I'm sure you could rush it. Truth be told, I had a break in the middle to go work on a 1982 moped, a little Honda moped. Had actual pedals, it was a two-stroke, super cool little thing. The gas in it was probably older than I was, though. Oh, here I am putting together the filter. This is part of my delete kit. And this is the new breather filter that is going to go on the cover there. Some people vent straight to atmosphere with no filter. But the crankcase does suck in and blow out, so it's good to make sure you don't have dust entering your system. These little hose clamps were quarter inch socket. So if you're trying to make a tool list right now, grab a quarter inch socket also. <coughs> <laughs> 
probably didn't need to leave in all this playing with hose clamp stuff, but and it's done now, so we're not changing that. Also, I made it point straight up because I thought that looked cool and it didn't touch the hood or anything, so I think that's the best spot. Don't think it matters too much, to be honest. Just make sure it's not touching something hot. Actually, up the best. Because any residual stuff you do get in there will just drip back in. So, I, yeah, do up. Up is great. Don't forget to put your oil cap back on like I just did. Oh, here I am. Like I said, I left the hose a little bit longer so I could put this plug in. And then tighten down it with another hose clamp. You could totally build this for a lot cheaper than the kit. Even though the kits are only like 20 or 30 bucks. But the convenience and it was a nice silicone hose and fancy little aluminum plug and stuff. Maybe it was steel, but felt nice, looked cool. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hope you find other car videos or truck videos that you love.